Thomas Loxton is not a pilot, astronaut, or mission control specialist, but he is an internationally recognized rocket scientist, author, expert witness, and short course instructor. He used his extraordinary knowledge of mathematics and physics to put a dozen American astronauts on the moon and to help design the 24 satellite GPS constellation now serving two billion receivers scattered around the globe. Tom's father Stanley worked as a laborer in the local flour mill in Springfield, Kentucky, and his mother Margaret worked in the school cafeteria. His dad advised him to find a way to make a living using his brains rather than muscles. From an early age, Tom applied himself in school. In fifth grade, Tom was reading at the level of a high school senior. He was good in math, enjoyed acting in school plays, and participated in pole vaulting on the track team. While attending high school, he rode his bicycle in town and out on rural roads to deliver the Louisville Times newspaper. After three and a half years of saving, Tom headed off to Eastern Kentucky University to study art with the hope of becoming a professional cartoonist. Everything went well for the first two semesters, then the money ran out. And Tom wrote what he thought was his swan song essay of his big adventure chronicling his freshman year in college. Fortune smiled on Tom. Dr. Smith Park, the chairman of the math department, offered him opportunities to work and receive scholarships to continue his education. So at the end of his freshman year, Tom changed his major to math physics. Some of his early jobs included two summers in the Del Monte Cannery in Marcuson, Wisconsin. He spent another summer as a student trainee for the Naval Ordnance Laboratory in White Oaks, Maryland, where math played a major role in calculating the effectiveness of Tartar and Talos anti-aircraft missiles. He received his undergraduate degree in math and physics at Eastern Kentucky University and a master's degree in point set and topology from the University of Kentucky. Tom went to work at Douglas Aircraft as an aeroballistics engineer just 18 months after Russia launched Sputnik. While at Douglas, Tom became involved with the Thor rocket test, which would deliver the Echo balloon into space. He also applied his math skills to the S-4B, or booster stage, of the Saturn V moon rocket and transit navigation satellites. The transit system was the predecessor of GPS. It was used primarily by the Navy pinpoint submarine positions using Doppler shift measurements. The primary strength of this system was it required a nominal constellation of only four to six satellites. Calculating the position was complicated with moving receivers, which made navigation by airplanes impractical. In 1961, President John Kennedy challenged the United States. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. As a part of this challenge, Mr. Loxton was recruited to become a trajectory expert for Project Apollo. When asked by a television talk show host what a trajectory expert does for a living, Tom replied, before the flight, we predict where the rocket will go. Then after the flight, we try to explain why it didn't go there. Tom spent the next 27 years with Rockwell International as a senior member of their technical staff. His major projects included an enhancement for the Saturn V moon rocket, powered flight maneuvers for the manned Skylab capsule, unmanned Mars missions, comet and asteroid probes, space industrialization, and the nuclear flight stage. All of these missions required advanced mathematics, intensive research, and performance enhancements of large chemical rockets and GPS navigation. At North American Aviation, he and colleague Bob Africano devised practical ways of enhancing payload carrying capabilities on the Saturn V moon rocket. Their clever use of nine different branches of mathematics increased the translunar payload by 4,700 pounds without requiring any hardware modifications. This was a three and a half billion dollar saving created by the magic of mathematics and physics. In 1973, a company executive asked Logston if he could use his special talents to figure out the number of satellites required and the best altitude, inclination, and spacing for the space-based GPS constellation. Logston managed to solve the problem in three days without the use of any computers. He merely drew full-color geometric sketches on 13 oversized quad pad sheets. The resulting contract for 12 GPS satellites brought in $330 million for the company and gave us a navigation system that is relied upon for air traffic control, point-to-point -point directions, tracking freight, military deployment, agriculture, and recreation. Tom Loxton is now a professional lecturer, author, expert witness, and short course instructor. 
His lectures and short courses have taken him to more than a hundred countries, all seven continents, several luxury cruise ships, and around the world more than a half dozen times. He lives in Seal Beach, California and shares his quarters with a perky and delightful dynamo named Cindy, who by some amazing coincidence has his last name. His daughter Donna is a UCLA graduate and his son Chad is the recipient of many gold and silver medals in the California Special Olympics Games. Without Tom's special skills in math and physics, we might not have successfully landed a man on the moon, rendezvoused with the International Space Station, or benefited from a Navistar GPS radio navigation system. It is therefore fitting that Thomas Loxton be enshrined into the official Aviation Hall of Fame of the Commonwealth of Kentucky.